afternoon and welcome back to the south of France. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Mark and uh, this is kind of like my video diary. Uh, I'm uh, documenting my uh, life here in the uh, southwest of France. Uh, yeah, so I moved here in a bid to become mortgage rent free uh, last year and um, yeah, I've been documenting what I've been doing. So yeah, just to give you a heads up, I've got a little house uh, here in the Charente region of southwest France, which I paid £20,000 for, or just under. Um, and it sits on about three acres of land, uh, sits on a, about a quarter acre garden, just under. And uh, got a couple of fields, about an acre and a half of fields. And I've got a one acre nature reserve, which is my little piece of paradise. And uh, I've also got uh, a little orchard, well, an old orchard. It needs a little bit of work. Um, so I just give you a um, just give you a little look at what the orchard looks like when I arrived. So when I bought this place, I couldn't actually get in here. I know it doesn't look like I can get in here now, but it was seriously overgrown. What I'm going to do today is try and cut some of this down again. That there. I'm pretty sure are old chicken coops. I'm not 100% sure. sure, could have been for pigs or goats, but I'm guessing for chicken. So, this, this bit here is my woodshed. It's nearly empty now. So the plan was, this was half full when I bought the place, the plan was to build another one. As you can see, this one is probably a hundred years old. Can't even see it, but yeah. So this goes down into a little orchard has got apple trees dotted around. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna take some tidying up. I'm gonna make a start today. It's supposed to get down to zero. It's Wednesday today. It's supposed to get down to zero on Friday. So I won't be doing too much out here unless it's dry. So I'll quickly show you this tree, which, which, is, which is my tree. And it is that one there, and it is massive. Uh, I think I'm very blessed to have a tree like that on my land. Anyway, so hopefully next time you see this, you'll be able to walk through it. That'd be a luxury, won't it? Yeah, so uh, Billy Busy Bee in the orchard. Talk about the orchard again in a second. Um, so yesterday was Christmas day, and uh, it was probably one of the best Christmas days I've ever had, actually. I spent the afternoon with some lovely, lovely people in their amazing house, and uh, yeah, fun was had by all, and it was an absolutely fantastic day. So I, you know, got to say thank you to them. Uh, absolutely amazing, amazing group of people. Uh, so yeah, yeah. My, yesterday, my my Christmas day probably started exactly the same as yours. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I got up to yesterday morning.
So that's what, uh, that's what kept me busy yesterday morning. And yesterday morning was uh, Christmas morning. Today is Boxing Day, obviously named after uh, the day that you chuck all your cardboard boxes out, I guess, from your Amazon deliveries. They don't call it Boxing Day here in France. Uh, it's, a, it's a UK thing only, I think. I'm sure someone will put me right about why it's called Boxing Day, but we'll just go with the Amazon story because it sounds amazing. Um, so yeah, been really, really busy. The weather's been so good the last couple of days. Um, it's absolutely perfect, perfect weather. I'm British, so grey skies, about 10 or 11 degrees. As long as it's not raining or scorching hot, then it's absolutely perfect here. So uh, yeah, definitely been making the most of it. And uh, yeah, so I went out the other day, I picked up, uh, I'm, I've got a project where I'm fencing my property and I've got about five or 600 feet to fence. And I'm just gonna nibble away at it, like I'm nibbling away at my uh, veggie patch, doing a bit of digging every few days, just doing like half an hour or so, just to, just to uh, get it sorted out. So yeah, I've been um, nibbling away at the fencing and I went out the other day and I, put, I picked up about another, another dozen posts. Um, I've started up my uh, up the other end near my um, near the house uh, in the orchard. So the orchard is about 200 feet long, just over, I think. So yeah, it's gonna take a little while to uh, get that fenced off. But as I say, just gonna do it a little bit at a time, half a dozen posts today kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, I just wanna say thank you to uh, some amazing people that are out there that are supporting my channel, uh, using my coffee.com link that's in the, in the uh, description. Yeah, you guys are absolutely amazing, helping me along with this project. Uh, yeah, no, I, definitely, I, I couldn't have done so much um, what I have done without you it's just been you've just been amazing so yeah thank you uh, I hope you all had a lovely Christmas and uh, I hope you're all having a quite a chilled out boxing day yeah I've been banging posts in the ground thank you for all your ideas of what to do with uh, Dave's shelter I think I am going to build a woodshed and uh, I've got a couple of ideas uh, in the garden of where to put it it needs to be somewhere near the house I think um, to make it, you know, convenient to store wood. No point putting it miles away, is there? Anyway, just a little quick catch up uh, from me today. Yeah, just uh, hope everyone had a lovely Christmas uh, and enjoying their Boxing Day. And uh, I've got a couple of busy days ahead, so I'm not quite sure when I'll be back. So um, yeah, take care, see you later.